What do we got here today, Mr. Sean? Well, this right here is an alcoholic beverage from Saga Talk Brewing in Michigan. A former fan of the show, I don't think they watch anymore, but they did drop off a bunch of beer at your old apartment. That was nice, remember that? The blueberry beer. Why'd they quit? I don't know, they don't send us beer anymore. I mean, all the stuff I said. <laughs> yeah. I think it's when you spit out their uh, stout on the ground. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. They didn't probably like, no, that was only in the outtakes. That's I a can't great imagine gift. they watched that. I mean, we made gift. it into a gift. It looks like you're sit spitting out like the devil's semen. I hope every now and again they search gifts for Saga Talk. I hope <laughs> Did you tag? We what a sick move. Yeah. Uh, the Lager of Love, 4.3%, uh, very crushable. Uh, this beer we've now had in one other video. We're working our way through the six pack. It's so good. It's a great lager. This is just like a summer day beer out on the lake. I don't know, in your basement, it doesn't matter. Out in the parking lot, is that where people drink? IPAs are out, lagers are in. Mm -hmm. Pilsners are in. Number six of cheese is in. Okay, stop saying things that are in. Um, all right, and also today, we eat food on this channel. That's right. So one of our favorite frozen food brands, it's hard to say, frozen food brands, is back on the show. Corey, what do we got? This wonderful frozen food brand. That is tough. Crispy honey chicken. Mm. White chicken meat. Cool. Mmm. <laughs> There's something about just the glazy, sticky Chinese chicken that is so great to me. And this is probably the only, like, fast, like, Chinese food brand that I actually like from the frozen food. Yeah, area. this is the only one that, that does a post-baking saucing. Literally. Yes, they, they, they're, they've they got it figured out. That's the All money. All these other companies need to start, cop, just copy it. Copy it, dude. All right, Innovation Crispy Honey Chicken for the very first time ever. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, oh, that's really good. So, yeah. yeah. It's cooked so perfectly. It's damn that's good. I want a little side cup of white rice so bad right now, but we film a lot of these videos. People sometimes do ask, why don't you put that with rice? Dude, we film a lot of these in a day. You think I just came mm -hmm. over here to eat this and leave? <laughs> I do actually, when I, I, I rarely buy these because I'm such a cheap ass, but when I do, I will get some of that frozen like fried rice and mix it all up and make a couple meals of it. It's so good. Because you're a smart human being. You're not a dumbass. I'm a thinker. Do you ever make just white rice for yourself? You no. always, yeah. No, I used to. Yeah. Now I do cauliflower rice. That's one thing I haven't gotten into that I need to start doing because I've heard there's like hardly any difference. Can't yeah. taste the difference. This is great. This is great. The crispiness of the chicken, the flavor of the sauce, you just can't beat it. There's no world you'd ever be able to tell. Like if you went to a food court and got the mall oh, chicken, yeah. and you put these next to each other, that's what's so wild to me. It's yeah, truly this, the same. Because mm -hmm. they're all using frozen, obviously. Yep. This is such a good consistency. Mm -hmm. 749 for us. Not bad. It's not bad. 18 ounces. We made the whole box. Two meals out of it, mm -hmm. yeah. And it's really delicious. It's so good. And rice is so cheap. Mm -hmm. So you could make a meal for a couple, for two people, roommates, whatever, for under five bucks total. Or I'm sorry, like under ten bucks total with the rice. Five bucks each. This is one of my one of my favorite things in the frozen food section that we stumble upon every now and again. When you can find items that you could legitimately trick a date. Well, and you could get this and some good fried rice uh -huh. and have a meal per person, mm -hmm. and they would not know that's frozen. Yeah, go out and making Chinese food mm -hmm. tonight. Come on over around eight, seven forty. Throw this in. <laughs> it reminds me. Did you, you remember the uh, corned beef and hash we got? Yes. It was the same. It was so good. I think that was Mary Kitchen. This glaze has to be so sugary though. Oh, Thirty-nine sugar. grams of sugar. Yeah, look at how much one serving. Yeah. <laughs> this is definitely something that you should not eat every day. Good food, good beer. It really is. Yeah, this is a good day. Okay, um, well, here's the part of the show, though, where it's the true review part. So this is $7.49, right? You said $7.50? So, yep, that's right. For this. Um, but we have to tell you whether or not you should actually buy it. So, Eric McCluskey, drum roll, please. Thank you, sir. All right, Corey, thumbs up or thumbs down whether or not you like you enjoy. But the main thing is, should these guys spend money and try this? If they're Chinese food people. Oops, are you ready? Yeah. Oh! Oh! Yes, it's just so good. I don't think I've ever thumbs down an Innovation. They no. might have a perfect score legit. They probably do. And we've done probably what? Maybe this might be our seventh or eighth time doing Innovation. Um, I can't, I'd be shocked if we've ever thumbs down anything. They're great. All right, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, quick question for you guys so we can uh, hang out in the comments section. What food in the frozen food section do you think is worthy of tricking a friend? What do you think you can grab and trick someone into getting, uh, thinking that you got takeout? Bagel bites. It's ah, a terrible answer. Yeah, terrible of answer. course not the right answer. Yeah, that's a good one. There are some things that are so gourmet. I have one. It's something we reviewed. I saw it again today when we were at the store together that I truly think 
Uh, it's a pasta. Ooh. Let's say that. Uh, we've had it. We both loved it. I was gonna guess it's Indian food. It's not Indian, Indian food. Does well. That's too. a good answer. I'm gonna comment mine in the comment section. Yeah. Um, so what's everybody's? That's a good one. I'm excited to interact with people. Chat with you in the comments, guys. All right, guys. Well, thanks for being here. Happy Friday. I hope you have an amazing weekend. Uh, eat good. Eat good this weekend. Drink good. You guys earned it. Sure. I'll. He's done. I'm having a drink. Oh yeah. There's more in there. I'm just not drinking anymore. <laughs>